Oh, yeah, it's Ramen King. Uh -huh. okay. This will be an oh, interesting match. He's doing the super gross Mega Man color, too. Yeah, that color is kind of bad. He's just like a moving turd. <laughs> it, yeah. It's like we were talking about the poop color Diddy earlier. <laughs> this is like a, even worse. <laughs> right, I'm, I'm kind of excited to see this match because Ramen King used to play a lot and then he didn't play. Uh, then Starbase Fruit kind of joined the scene during that time where Ramen King wasn't playing. So Ramen King's just kind of returning to the scene right Yeah. Now? Okay. And so I don't think these players have ever even been to the same tournament together, even though they've both been playing for a long time. Uh, you don't see a lot of Mega Mans either. Yeah, true. Like, Ramen King was our token Mega Man in Chicago for a while. <laughs> and then he left, and then we haven't had any Mega Man experience since. Was so, he here back in the Brawl Days? No. He no. started with Smash 4. And then he came with us to a lot of tournaments back in like the winter, and then kind of disappeared. Okay. And now he's back, apparently. <laughs> now he's back. Yep. I don't know if Starbase Fruit got any experience against Mega Man's out in New England, but right now he's doing pretty decent. He is doing pretty. Still pretty darn close, though. Yeah. I do think that Luigi's probably gonna have a little bit of a hard time approaching in this matchup. But, oh, that's, oh, that was unfortunate. Yeah, I think we're going to see a lot of lemons, a lot of saw blade, a lot of side B, some forward smash. Just to try to zone Luigi out, keep him away. Although it is a little bit harder to play that camp game when you're down a stock. Because you have to go in and end it. And with this matchup, if Mega Man can keep Luigi out, then this is fun. Yep. But if Starbase Fruit can find a way to get in, then this is looking so much better for him. And so far, he's been able to get in. Yep. I don't want to say fairly easily, but I mean, he's making it look easy, that's for sure. Oh my oh, god. Okay. Jab up That's something that Starbase Fruit really loves to do. Starbase Fruit's getting some really great follow ups. Yeah. A lot of people thought that after the nerfs, Luigi wasn't going to have too good of follow ups, yep. but. Starbase Fruit's able to figure out the new ones and even does some of the old I, I still see him do down throw down B sometimes. <laughs> like, it doesn't kill anymore, but he still does it. It's nerfed, I don't care. Oh, Forward Smash is gonna do it. A pretty convincing game one for Starbase Fruit. <laughs> Lilac Cruise is the stage band. Probably a fair choice. I don't think. I don't think it's particularly good for Mega Man, but I don't want to play that stage as Luigi ever. And I don't think Mega Man would mind it as bad. How does that mess with Luigi? It's just, and it's just like the platforms the kind of make him have a hard time landing. Okay. Three, two, one, go! Alright, so we're going to go on top of the drugstore over on Omega on it. Kind of interesting how some players don't like to go to FD, they'll go to an Omega like this. I always think that if somebody picks an Omega over FD, they have to have some reason why. And so if we look at one of Ramen King's earlier matches when they played on Duck Hunt, he used a wall jump to survive when we thought he was dead. So that's probably why he picked Omega on it, because there's the vertical walls there. So he can just wall jump back to safety, even if he lost his double jump or something like that. The stage is also more narrow, so I don't know how that would play into his play style and the character, but that also yeah. might have something to do with his choice. And also some people just don't like the backgrounds on Final Destination. Very true. Very true. They are pretty obnoxious. They are. <laughs> it's a little bit too yeah. bright. I don't know what they were thinking on it, but... Wow, good up smash. And this is a solid lead right now. This game is looking very much like the first one. Yeah. And Starbase Fruit is still doing a really great job being able to get in there. Not letting that wall of projectiles keep him out. Yeah, it looks like he's just jumping in from above a lot of the times and then trying to find that back air, maybe land with neutral air. Or even just like Tomahawk and then land with one of these grabs. <laughs> yep. It's almost like Ramen King is having a hard time dealing the damage to Starbase. Because a lot of times he's. Notice how he's full jumping. And that puts Luigi so high in the air that, like, all of uh, Mega Man's projectiles that go straight ahead aren't going to hit him. But that was a really good down air spike. Yeah. Starbase kind of has to really look out for that. And maybe, maybe not go off stage as much or. 
He had a good lead though, so like he had he had room to work with. He's not too upset about that. <laughs> Side yeah, I'm beat. not sure what he was thinking there. Probably a miss input. Yeah. Maybe it's supposed to be a down B to cover some ledge options. That's actually a very easy miss input. Yeah, I actually do that a lot. Except I do the opposite. Where I try to down B and then I actually side B. Actually, no, that is kind of what he did. I think he was trying to down B. Too, so no, he's actually a, a little bit heavy. Like, he's heavier than he looks. Kind of like the, that dude with, like, Yoshi. You yeah. I think he'd be a heavy one. Yep. I, I'm pretty sure Yoshi is heavier than Mega Man, but... Yeah, Yoshi's, like, one of the top. Yeah. But that's, like, Mega Man will live a long time. Especially because he can, like, zone people out so they can't really walk up and do smash attacks. So a lot of times people just try to kill him with aerials, and that's a little slow. And that was a great wow. read right there. Solid charge up smash, and that's going to be a 2-0 for Starbase Fruit. I'm going to have to hop out now. I'm going to be playing Razor. I'll maybe be back later. Pyro, my bad. Everyone tries to change their names. Like, Gamerhead, I don't care. He's still Gamerhead. No, he's Gamerhead. Did you want to hop on? Yeah. Yeah.